this tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Let's get started with animation. This is the connection editor and it's a marvelous and very lean window with two sides. Left is the output and to the right is the input. You don't have to really care about mathematics or logic or, or anything like this. I will show you in a second how we can use this in a very visual way. Let's create a sphere move it a little bit to the left because we need space for another object for example the torus so we have two objects now and uh, actually let's create a, a third one right here so i colored them it took a couple of seconds now we select this one and we go to windows general editors because it's such a general thing to connect things and here is the connection editor. Uh, some similar names like component editor, channel editor, etc. But we need the connection editor. It's very old, really. It's uh, it's been in Maya since version one. Uh, what you see on the left side is uh, the polygon sphere. That's what we just selected when we opened the connection editor. Let me put it to this side. Um, the sphere actually has three tabs here in the attribute editor and let's go for the polysphere one this is the p sphere one this one but we want the polysphere one and in order to select this we uh, press select here and we need to reload it on the left side so we press the reload button here and we have something different now here as you can see for example the radius which is right here and we have subdivisions etc now let's load something into the right side and we load the torus into the right side and again let's click here poly torus and we select it and we reload it on the right side so we have the poly torus one on the right side and the poly sphere one on the left side now a very simple thing is to connect the radius to the radius Let's do this. The connection goes without any fanciness just by clicking here and both words will become italic. That means they are connected now. If you want to deconnect them, just this, that's all. Okay, with this connection, uh, this gets yellow here and uh, the, the thing is really when you pick the sphere now and change the radius, the torus radius will change accordingly. Isn't that funny? You could also, instead of going for the radius, go to the, well, the subdivision axis right here. When you scale the radius up, you get another kind of subdivisions here for the torus. You need a very big sphere in order to get um, an interesting and round torus again because currently it has just four sides as you can see it's 3.4 so it, it rounds it up to four so this is uh, not bad is it now let's do something with the cone um, what we'll do with the cone is this we'll uh, choose faces and we click here so it's one of the faces and then we extrude it it's this icon under polygon modeling it's that tab here and we extrude it and well we extrude it like this oh, we have a dog barking that's quite a difference really we go back to object mode so we have this quite a kind of odd cone we can actually scale it up to see it better like this okay now let's select the we don't have to select it actually um, but let's let's select it uh, the sphere and this time we pick the p sphere one in order to load p sphere one instead of instead of poly sphere one we need to click here 
and reselect left. We've got many, many more options here to connect now because that's a, that's a very rich uh, node here. And on the right hand side, we don't want to pick the polygon cone, we want to pick the extrude. This is about the extrusion. So let's select that and reload it to the right hand side. So what can we do? For example, here's the rotation. This plus my means that um, we have several values here, rotate x, y and z for example. On the right hand side, what can we do? Um, well, for example, scale. And that's not the scale of the of the cone, it's the scale of the extrusion here. So let's click on rotate x for example and scale x. And now you see this has changed already. You see? And now when we rotate the sphere in x, that's the red one, we get this change. You can of course connect the rotation x to several things on the right hand side. It doesn't have to be um, just one uh, item here. So with the random and the gain, you know, the gain has several here, this one, uh, and then when you rotate it in X you have many more things which happen with our cone. Well having said this, bye bye.